we have a situation where now we have been subjected to six hours of load shedding. Just when I was addressing uh, you uh, from wherever you are, uh, there was an intermittent supply because I was cut off. Our power just went and so we had to reconnect ourselves to put ourselves on the generator and begin connecting uh, with you wherever you are. Here is the point I want to drive home. The point is that I think the president must learn to tell the truth. Because when he said on the 1st of May that the problem Zambia was having was not water shortages in the Kariba, but lack of uh, machinery. In fact, when he was interviewed later on in August, the president himself said there was a shortage of machinery at the Kariba. They were using one machine. His government has procured five more machines to curb the issue of electricity deficit. Now, I want, to, I want us to follow each other very well here. Because on the other hand, we are being told that it was a problem of machinery. And on the other hand, we are being told that it is low levels of water in the Kariba. So which is which? The president has found himself on the wrong side because the president forgot that it is a government which has to coordinate things. His minister says there's low water. The president earlier on says uh, we have managed we have managed to uh, to put up uh, to quell or to finish load shedding within a year, and that is the same thing. That's the same lie he transported when he addressed the European Parliament at the EU. That's the same lie the president transported uh, to Brussels. The president said uh, among the achievements that he highlighted in his Brussels statement was that uh, Zambia had managed to deal with uh, load shedding. But today as we are speaking, we are told, we are told that it is load shedding plus plus. It is six hours. Now I want us to uh, focus ourselves on one thing. I think this is very important. This is extremely important. And the important fact is that, look, load shedding must be addressed, must be addressed exhaustively. Load shedding must not be addressed sparingly. Our colleagues in government are addressing load shedding sparingly, which is a very sad development. We should tell the public the truth about what is obtaining. Because currently, we must understand that the installed capacity of ZESCO, ZESCO currently is running at 3,400 megawatts of power. That's how ZESCO is operating. ZESCO is generating 3,400 megawatts of power. And the demand for the country, the demand for Zambia, is about uh, 2,300 megawatts. And the Kariba, which the president was talking about, is having challenges with an installed capacity of about 1,250 megawatts. Now, if our demand is standing at 2,300 megawatts, why is Zambia, why is Zambia entering into a new contract? Into a new contract with Zimbabwe to begin supplying power to Zimbabwe. Why is Zambia supplying South Africa, which has been having erratic power? Right now, as we speak, they have got challenges of power with Zimbabwe, our South Africa. Why has Zambia continued to supply power to Namibia? Why has Zambia continued to supply power through the CEC? CEC is part of the, the energy uh, network. CEC supplies power to the DRC Congo. Why can't Zambia reduce? Why can't our new Don leadership think of reducing the power outages schedule from at least six hours to even three hours? We understand they have got challenges and we are a realistic lot. Why can't they reduce the, the deficit or the, uh, the electricity uh, outage? from six hours to at least three hours how can they do this 
they can do this by cutting down on the amount of uh, uh, kilowatts they are supplying to the Namibia, they are supplying to the DRC, they are supplying to uh, these other countries. Why should Zambia continue supplying power to our uh, neighboring countries when we ourselves have got a challenge? Why should we continue doing that? Why? And the Zesco MD was telling us that what was going to happen now was that Zambia as a country was only going to uh, experience uh, no load shedding on Christmas, New Year, and uh, when they were playing the World Cup. I think for me that's a mockery. We are the ones producing power. Why should the same conditions, we who are selling South Africa, because what he announced to us, uh, MD, are the same things that have been announced to the people in South Africa. Because even in South Africa, they will not have load shedding on Christmas. They will not have load shedding on, uh, on uh, New Year's Day. And they also will be watching World Cup just like we are watching. So, I think it's a question of making adjustments to what we are going through. One, we are appealing to the new Don government. This is not about politics. This is about helping our country. There are some issues in Zambia. There are some issues in our country that must be bipartisan. There must be issues in our country that we should all come together and agree that here we should move as one. And one such issue where we should move as one is the same issue of a load shedding. Let us reduce load shedding in our country. Let us reduce the amount of power we are giving to those that we are selling. It will help our people. Because what load shedding does is a lot. Load shedding does a lot. A lot it does. Load shedding affects the barbershop owners. But I don't know how to do it. Because of load shedding. If you have a lot of load six is only going to catch a lot of load Lord shedding, it is those who are doing in These who are doing uh, uh, saloons, where the woman or the lady should have uh, attended to about uh, six or seven uh, clans, they will only deal with maybe only two clans because of load shedding. Although six hours, six hours, and you discover that in most compounds, ama hours of pale. They are productive hours. If they say power will go from 11 hours to 17 hours, what time will people work? What time will people work? People who are working in Uma Chawama, power went, for instance, it's going at maybe 11 hours or 10 hours. I'm like, yeah, 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 will pass 16 hours. What time will those people in Chawama work? Because there will be nobody to, to go and uh, do their saloons, nobody will go and uh, do their, their, uh, so all these things are affecting the small scale trader the small scale trader whom government has been saying they want to support you want to support the barber shop owner but i'm allowed to ask six hours how will that barber shop owner survive you want to help the saloon owner i'm allowed to ask six hours how will the person work in in john Howard? so these hours that we are doing we are killing the small scale industry we are killing them, totally killing them and burying them. Government must rethink this decision. Government must at least rethink, even if it's for co domestic consumers. Let Amakombon, let Mrs., let Chawama, let Chipulugusu, let all these compounds, Ama compounds, let them be given a flexible schedule. If you know it is Mrs., if you know in Mualinda, if you know in Muisa, give them flexible schedules the way you have done the way government has done with the industries because this load shedding is not for uh, for the for the mines the load shedding is not for the industries this load shedding is for us domestic consumers therefore let government think of the people in the compounds they're the ones who are running the saloons they are the ones who are running the they are the ones who are running I'm a butcheries. I know of a guy called James running a butcher. I'm a lighting for six hours. It means Allah Chula, Tashitishe, Tawombe, 
Alafi okulipira ma rentals and people are just coming from a covid era. It's a fair argument. People are coming from a covid era. Let's help our people migrate from that covid era. Bambo apemu ineko apa. You bring load shedding. You didn't tell us the truth. Now people are injured. Help people in misses. Our submission, my submission is that Avena Chawama, Avena Garden Compound, Avena Kuku, Avena Chipulukusu, Avena Maiteneke Kumansa, Avena Antwanika Nemuka Amuka Sama. But they have one summer compounds which you call shanti compounds, where you call them low density areas. Baleke ni bakuate load shading each epedeko. Fidafi nemu pedama industries. We can't have a country where abasungu or those uh, who are involved in mines uh, these who are coming from outside they are not affected by this load shedding but we are affected as a people this has to come to an end let our compounds be taken care of i saw on the schedule this time hospitals must be spared we need hospitals to be spared because even if they can be in Chawam, even if the hospital can be in Karikiriki, even if the hospital can be in those other compounds, these are human beings. These are human beings who have to be listened to, who have to be helped. Government must listen to the downtrodden. Government must have an ear for people who are suffering a lot. Muri Iba Panga for four months. Lord Shading, you are paying for four months, six hours. Aba ala chula san. Bamu garden compound. Bamu bamu ntu anika ni bamu chawama. Aba ala chula bamu alinda. Aba ala chula. It's people who are coming from compounds. Eba ala chula san. Our appeal is that government should consider a flexible program for those who are in the low density areas to save their businesses. Because if you don't do that. Abantu mwala bepa ya balelo lesha. Mwala ba shika balelo lesha. Hello government, the design of the shika wumi. Government must feel for its people. This issue, this issue is very critical. And we want our government to come out in the open and be truthful for once. Learn to tell your people who voted for you. Hello, I'm going to tell you about government. It is those people. Umi no ma compounds. I've been let's take a It is the people in Ilinda. It is the people in Kanyama, the people in Mandevu, the people in Chipulugusu, the people in Kawama, the people in Luangwa Township. These are the people who voted for you. Ever wukile kumacha to go and cast a vote for you. Their hope was that they were going to live a liberated life. Their hope was that Valai Karakonga Bantu. We are asking you, government, begin taking our people seriously. Fidewa Mivo daily, help them. Live a life that is liberated. That is your job as government. You can't just keep or bring a blanket thing. What will happen in six hours? Six hours. No. Could I have a running a barber shop? There are those who are running a salon. There are those who are running a butcher compound for their sake. I'm after my alone dakale. On the energy sector, I'm coming back on this very soon. I'm after my balloon dakale. What you need to do now. Is to ensure that about my compound, the Kenya Vena number, but pay me in a copa. No, no, it's the only incentive. Mwala ba pela, the Kenya Vadu Makain in the Calaba, the Kenya Vadu Makain in the Baka, about the woodlands in the Baka Vimba, the Kenya, those about my yard, Baka Blonga, the Kenya won't be brand of this load shedding, but about my compound running small businesses, the job of government. Abanenu ku Rwanda they did the same. Abanenu ku Kigali, Rwanda, Kugana they did the same. Zambia must emulate. If you sumabala kopa, good things we copy. Those that are not good, we abhor or we detect or we detest. On this particular score, we are asking government to revise their schedule and be merciful to the people who are running businesses in the compounds. Let them come out with a program. That is proactive. That is poor centered. I am grateful that we have been together on this journey. I'm grateful that uh, you have followed me along this journey and you have followed us. 
this is our principle as uh, citizens first we want all of us to work together we want us to move together we have only got one zambia and we do this not out of malice we do this because we love our country we do this because zambia is the only country we have and that is why it is important for us as a country to live in unity for us as a country when you are in government it doesn't mean you have the monopoly of wisdom that's why you need to listen government needs to listen to all the players but for the ones that on load shedding businesses will go down some businesses will even die as a result of load shedding let government come out with a plan which is going to sustain the small scale investor those in the shanty compounds let them be given a proper schedule even three hours if you can't reduce for us because you don't want to reduce your profits you are a parent but you are in a hurry to go and give so even ourselves as a country it is important that we begin sharing it is important that we begin looking at our own domestic issues before we worry about Zimbabwe. But Zimbabwe, they are boasting Ugutila from next week or the other week. They are going to they are going to stop load shedding because Zambia will be giving them power. How can Zambia be giving them power when we ourselves are struggling with power? Our government ought to be serious. Let's be serious for once. Let's look at our domestic affairs and let's look after our people. May God bless Zambia. May God bless each one of us as we go through this very challenging time. God bless you. Thank you so much.